Right, hey everyone, and welcome back to Cade's Comics. This is my haul from about August until March 2024. So this is quite a few months worth of books. So if you've been watching the channel for a little bit, you might have seen that I took a little bit of a break and now I've come back. I've got a video here that is explaining that, but I wanted to make a haul video that just kind of encompassed all of the books I've bought whilst I've been away rather than trying to put out like six individual haul videos. So. That's what this is, it's just a whole video for a bunch of different months. So in this video I've got a couple books that aren't wrapped up because I've bought them in shops, a couple books that were delivered and I've unwrapped them, and some books that I've left in the boxes to actually unbox today. So first up, a few weeks ago I bought Jupiter's Legacy Volume 3 from Forbidden Planet. This was $2.99, so I got this really, really cheaply. I haven't read Jupiter's Legacy 1 and 2, but I do own them. Yeah, I was catching up on a podcast that I haven't listened to for quite a while. It's the Weekly Planet podcast. And they were talking about the Jupiter's Legacy Netflix series and how good they thought it was before it was cancelled. And then they were talking about the comic as well. And I thought, well, I have the first two volumes. I should really give it a read. And it's something I do intend to read. So when I saw this in the shop, I was like, okay, I'll definitely buy it because I will read the series. So... Eventually I'll get around to that and I'll do probably a review or something on the Jupiter's Legacy series. Next up are two big omnibuses that I was really, really excited to receive and I'm really excited to give them a read. So first up we have Ultimate Spider-Man Volume 3. This collects issues 72 to 111 of the Ultimate Spider-Man run. I think there's probably going to be maybe four or five omnibuses if they carry on with that kind of rate. So I'm hoping that Volume 4 comes out soon, I can pick that up, and then I just want to dive into the whole series and just read everything in one go. I'm really, really excited for that. I absolutely love the Spider-Man game that came out last year, Spider-Man 2. I've got something on that, so stick around to the end, actually, because I have a little bit of information about that. So if you're interested in that game or Spider-Man in general, stick around because I've got some information about that. So I'm really excited to read this. This is the cover I decided to go for. Uh, I've really enjoyed the, all the covers that I've had so far. I'll pop them on screen, which ones I do have, because, you know, there's so many different ones, but I, I like this, like, trim around the end. And next up is another book I was really, really excited for. This is Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man by Chip Zdarsky. So this is a collection I'm really, really excited to read. I had Spider's Shadow, and I had Life Stories, and I had the individual volumes of Spectacular Spider-Man, but I decided I wanted to upgrade and have everything in one hardback omnibus. Just really like the front cover and the spider I think it looks really, really cool. I think Chip Zdarsky's writing, especially on Spider-Man, some of my favourite. I haven't read his Daredevil run or his work that he did on Batman, but I might check it out because I really, really, really enjoy his work. And if you want to know more about Chip Zdarsky, click this link up here because I did a video on him um, looking at his start in comics, how he got into comics, and then his work with Matt Fraction on sex criminals and how, you know, Matt Fraction got into it, and then his wife, Kelly Sue DeConnick, and I kind of went on a like a, a little trilogy of those three. <laughs> Okay, so now we're into the packages I've had delivered from Forbidden Planet. I've got one small one, one medium-sized one, and one big one. So I'm going to leave the big one right until the end. Make sure you stick around to watch that. I honestly don't remember what's in these because, like I say, this is just kind of all the books that I've had from the past kind of few months that I've been off. This is something I've missed doing, is the, uh, like the, the little tab on this to try and pull it down. Right, get the, get the good tear. Oh. No, not, not good at all. This is a, a bit of an omen for coming back, clearly. Right, there we go. It's a paperback. Oh, I forgot I ordered this. This is Tom King's Strange Adventures. I think I ordered this about a year ago because I remember it being sat on the Forbidden Planet website just saying, like, awaiting stock. And for so, so long, or processing or something, and for so long it was just sat saying processing or awaiting stock. And I heard it was really good. I heard it was really interesting. Tom King, you know, I liked his vision run. Um, I've liked his other stuff that I've that I've read. Another Batman run that I haven't read, like Chip Zdarsky's. But, uh, yeah, I heard this was really cool. And so I wanted to check it out. But I've just seen Batman's in this. Why the hell is Batman in this? I did not know this was in the DC universe. I thought this was like a standalone thing. I mean, it makes sense. It's DC Black Label. I just figured it was a standalone thing. All right, well, that adds an entire new layer of things onto it. That's pretty interesting. I will check that out. And if you guys want to see a video dedicated solely to this, then I can do that. Next up, we'll go with the medium box. I don't know if you can see that. They see, they've marked it as heavy. Clearly, the delivery driver was struggling to get it up here. What is in this box? I do not know. Okay. I've got one book in here. One book that's very, very bubble wrapped. I'm guessing something Spider-Man related. 
This is the reprint of Spider-Man The Clone Saga Volume 1. When this got announced that it was getting reprinted, I was really, really excited. I know quite a few people don't like this saga, because you've got Clone Saga 1 and 2, Ben Riley 1 and 2 as well. But I have never read any of the Clone Saga, and I'm really interested by the character of Ben Riley and the whole Clone Saga thing. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to checking it out, and I'm hoping I kind of enjoy it, or some parts of it at least. Anything that I've ever seen about Ben Riley or the clone stuff, admittedly, I've only seen more new like new age kind of stuff but the stuff i have seen has always been really interesting to me and you know he pops up in life story and he's in the across the spider-verse film you know you can unlock playable skins in the spider-man game and stuff make sure you stick around for the end of the video because i'm going to talk about that i really don't know anything about it so i'm going to go into this completely blind i'm going to try to at least interesting fact i worked at a comic book shop for like a month when i was at university on my interview they said to me, what's one comic you kind of want to check out? And I said, The Clone Saga, I'd like to give it a read. I'm just getting into Spider-Man and a lot of people really hate it. Some people really like it. And the guy that was doing the interview hated it so much. And he was telling me all about how much he hated it. And I was like, well, I'm going to read it anyway, because I think I might like it. And if I don't like it, well, I still want to read it. Just a, just a little interesting fact. Finally, we're on to the big box. This is the big box of the month. Well, not month, but months plural. I love how every box I've had from Forbidden Planet, this unboxing has all been wrapped differently. Like Strange Adventures was just in a like bag. The um, Ben Ryle, uh, the Clone Saga was just like caked in bubble wrap. This one's wrapped a box within a box. They must just have different people doing all the packaging or something like loads of different people with different ways of doing it. Anyway, got another good tear to get. Let's try and make sure this one's a bit better than the last one. Again, halfway through. He's lost his edge. He's come back, lost his edge. He's like when Michael Jordan came back to basketball after playing golf. All right. I didn't. I didn't just compare myself to Michael Jordan, but that was just the first comparison I came up with. Anyway, this is Spider-Man Ben Riley Volume One. Off the top of my head, I can't remember which comes first. I'm sure it's the Clone Saga that comes first. It's one and two, and then th this one and two, but. Yeah, I've just, I feel like I've just spoken about this. Um, I didn't realize that that was in that box. So these are part and parcel Ben Riley Volume 1 and the Clone Saga Volume 1. Really looking forward to reading both of them, uh, all four of them. So yeah, I'm going to check those out. So this seems like quite a big haul, but you've got to bear in mind it is months and months of, uh, of books. I don't know if I'll be able to lift all of this. Right, let's see if I can get this in shot. Wish me luck. If, they, if, if I do this, then press like. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked for that. Um, yeah, press like, um, and I'll probably use this for the thumbnail. Alright, let's see if I can do this. There we go. So, that's everything I've bought for these months. Uh, let's just run through it really quickly. We've got Ben Riley Spider-Man, well, Spider-Man Ben Riley Volume 1, Spider-Man Clone Wars, Clone Saga, Volume 1. Ultimate Spider-Man Volume 3, Spider-Man Chip Zdarsky, uh, Omnibus, Jupiter's Legacy Volume 3, and Strange Adventures. So very Spider-Man heavy, but a lot of my collection is very Spider-Man heavy. Uh, I do like Spider-Man, if you couldn't tell. So I think that's going to do it, really. And speaking of Spider-Man, I said stick around to the end of the video because I wanted to talk about the Spider-Man 2 game. Since my last unboxing, I have been playing a lot of PlayStation 5 and I mentioned I've been playing the Spider-Man 2 game. In my spare time, I've recently been going for platinum trophies on there, which are, you know, when you collect all the achievements on a single game. And it's something I've been really enjoying and something that I would kind of like to bring onto the channel. It's something that I think I could kind of maybe do good content around. If that's something you guys are interested in or something you guys would want to see, then leave a comment down below letting me know because I've got a few games lined up like Spider-Man 2, Guardians of the Galaxy, just like kind of comic book related stuff. You know, I wouldn't go on and do like an Uncharted video or something. It'd kind of still be comic book related, but just more gaming and stuff. And it wouldn't be replacing any of the videos I do now. I'd just be doing it alongside it. I wanted to bring it up because Spider-Man 2, I played through the game, got, got the platinum on that, really enjoyed it. But they recently added New Game Plus mode and there's a trophy for going through the whole game again. So I was thinking to myself, maybe I could do a video or series or something replaying that game in New Game Plus. So if that's something you guys are interested in or something you want to see, let me know down in the comments below. Or if you know, if you don't want to see it, then also let me know and I won't do it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for 
checking out this video and for your continued support on the channel. It really means a lot and I will see you all very, very soon. See you later, guys.